Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn about Terraform Refresh command. So in the previous videos, we have gone through the concept of different commands like Terraform init, Terraform plan, Terraform apply commands. So considering that you have watched my previous videos, I am making this particular video as the previous videos are the prerequisites for this particular video. So you must go and watch those videos first in order to understand this video. So the foremost thing that we are going to understand is how it actually works, right? But before that, I would like to throw some light on Ter Terraform state file. So basically Terraform state file is used to keep the track of the resources, right? So whenever you create the resources with the help of Terraform, Terraform state file will keep the track of those resources, okay? So first of all, what is Terraform refresh? So basically, let's consider a scenario, okay? So in that case, if there is someone so in your team, there is someone in your team who has created a resource with the help of Terraform, but an another person in your in your team, what he does is he deletes that resource. I will be showing that in the example, but let's consider the scenario, right? One member of your team created a resource, right, with the help of Terraform. But the another person in your team, what he did is, he deleted that particular resource manually without using Terraform destroy command. Okay, so what is Terraform destroy command? Terraform destroy command is used to destroy the resources that were created using Terraform. So, what happens is, if the resource is deleted manually, it is very difficult to keep the track of resource by the state file. Why? Because state file only knows that it has created a resource. It doesn't know that it was deleted by someone manually because it was done manually, right? So in order to make the state file aware of the current condition of your infrastructure, we make use of Terraform refresh command, okay? So if you are not yet clear, I will be just demonstrating it in front of you so that you get the overall idea about it, okay? So let's go to our VS code and try to uh, understand this Terraform refresh command with the example, okay? So what I'll do is, I'll first create a resource that is an EC2 instance using Terraform apply command. I have already done the Terraform init, Terraform plan, etc. But if you don't know it, you can go and watch my previous videos wherein I have explained about Terraform init command as well as plan command. Okay. So what does Terraform apply? It will actually make the changes onto our infrastructure or onto our cloud, right? So once I do apply, it will actually create a resource in my cloud. Simple. Okay. I'll just say yes over here. And it will start creating the resource. Now we are done with the creation of an EC2 instance on our AWS. So let's go to our AWS dashboard and check whether it has created an instance or not. And you can see that an instance has been created over here, right? Now, this instance is tracked by my state file. Okay, let's go to my terraform.pf state file. And in this, you can see that 
it is keeping a track of this particular AWS instance. And if you still want to know the resources that are tracked by our Terraform state, what we can do is we can run Terraform state list. And it will show all the resources that are tracked by our state. So over here, it is AWS instance. Okay. Now, now if I go and manually delete this instance, okay, I just try to terminate the instance. Okay. And terminating it, right? without using Terraform. I'm doing it manually, right? Now, the resource won't exist, right? It's, it's shut down, right? But what our Terraform knows is, it still will show that this particular instance is still running. It, according to Terraform, it is in an illusion that my EC2 is still running. Why? Because it is not tracked, right? With the help of Terraform. We have done the changes manually. So now Terraform doesn't know about those changes that are done manually. So now, in order to make this Terraform state file aware that yes, your AWS instance is not running right now and it is terminated so to tell this to tell the terraform state file that about the current situation of the infrastructure what we can do is we can make use of terraform refresh command okay now once we have refreshed the state what I'll do is I'll just go and say Terraform state list. Now it won't say that EC2 is tracked by me. Why? Because that instance doesn't exist. So now we made our Terraform state file aware that our EC2 instance is not running. It is terminated. So with the help of refresh command, what we can do is we can keep the track of the resources and make our TF state file aware of the current condition of our infrastructure. So that's it for this. Hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you found the video is helpful. Also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates. So thank you so much and have a nice day.